Welcome to Miss Michelle Storytime, presenting Back to School Storytime. Hedgehog Goes to Kindergarten by Lynn Marie. Pictures by Ann Kennedy. Spike stared out the window toward the bus stop and quivered. It was his first day of kindergarten. I'm afraid to ride the big bus all alone, he told Mama Hedgehog. You'll find a bus, buddy, said Mama. And then the bus won't seem so big or so scary. She patted Spike on the head and scooted him out the door. Mind your quills. At the bus stop, Spike saw foxes, possums, beavers, and owls, but no hedgehogs. Who will be my school bus buddy? He wondered. The school bus pulled up. The doors opened. Come on in and take a seat, said the bus driver. One by one, animals climbed the steps. Two by two, animals found their seats. A pig sat with a goose. A bear sat with a moose. Spike scrambled up the steps and took an empty seat. As the bus filled, a frog plopped down next to Spike. I'm Wart, said the frog. I'm Spike. Nice to meet you, Wart. The bus lurched up the hill. Clink, clank, clonk. Bing, bang, thump. Spike, Spike. Ouch, croaked Wart. That's totally rude, dude. He hopped over the seat and slid in between Chomp and Humphrey. Spike sighed. <sighs> I hope I can find a school bus buddy. The next day, Spike switched seats. I'm peekaboo, the ostrich next to him preened. I'm Spike. Nice to meet you, peekaboo. The bus staggered up the hill. Clink, clank, clunk. Bing, bang, thump. Spike spiked. Eek, squawked peekaboo. Keep your quills to yourself. She slid across the aisle and squeezed in with hopper and stripes. Spike sighed. <sighs> I guess I haven't found a school bus buddy yet. The next day, Spike sat with a mole. I'm Magoo, chattered his seatmate. I'm Spike. Nice to meet you, Magoo. The bus wobbled up the hill. Clink, clank, clonk. Bing, bang, thump. Spike spiked. Yikes, grunted Magoo. I sat next to a pen cushion. He crawled off the seat and scooted between King and Peanut. Spike sighed. I'll never find a school bus buddy. Now Spike sat all by himself. He trembled. He felt so small and alone. Will I ever find a school bus buddy? Then Spike noticed he wasn't the only one sitting on his own. When the bus paused at the next bus stop, he shuffled toward the half-empty seat. He gathered his courage. It's a bumpy ride, and I'm a little bit scared. Slowly, a trembling turtle poked out his head. You mean, I'm not the only one? No, Spike admitted. But we can be afraid together if you don't mind my sharp quills. The turtle knocked on his hard belly. Tap, tap. Not at all. I'm Sheldon. I'm Spike. Nice to meet you, Sheldon. Spike slid into the empty seat. The bus chugged up the hill. Clink, clank, clunk. 
bing, bang, thump. Spike spiked. Sheldon smiled. Spike held out his paw. Bus buddies? He asked. Sheldon high-fived Spike. Bus buddies for sure! Somehow, Spike realized the bus did seem smaller and a little less scary now, just like Mama said it would. Now that you've listened to the story and followed along, it's time to answer some questions. After you hear a question, press pause and answer the question. Then press play to hear the next question. Why is Spike afraid? What kinds of animals does Spike see on the bus? Why does Spike have trouble finding a bus buddy? Why does Spike talk to Sheldon? How do you make friends at school? Great job! We hope you had fun reading, listening, and thinking about the story.